Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the monthly general oracle reading for Libra for May 2021. All right, and as always, this is for also moon, rising, Venus signs, and if you're a cross watcher, you may resonate. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. Feel free to share and like the video. It definitely helps my channel grow. So this is all oracle cards, and I will be using the Archangel Power Tarot, which is definitely more oracle-like than tarot, so... All right, I'm going to start off with one from the Angel Answers Oracle. What does Libra need to hear, please? May 2021. What is the guiding energy? All right, so we have let go, Libra. Okay, let go of maybe how something happens, how, where, when, why energy. Just let go, let things flow. And at the bottom, we have the situation will improve. So this could also be about letting somebody else take the lead. We'll see where else we go with this. I'm going to pull one from the angels and ancestors. And then I'll start off with the Archangel Power Tarot. All right. What else do we have for guiding energy for Libra for May? All right, shift your perception. Okay, shifting our perception can be one of the most challenging things. It takes a lot of inner strength. But when it comes to, for example, endings or doors closing, shifting our perception would be, okay, there's a new door opening. There's beautiful new opportunities ahead. So air guardian, ask for assistance in shifting your perception. Let go, let things flow. Alrighty, now I'm going to start with the Archangel Power Tarot. Three cards for Libra, please. What is the guidance? <laughs> Divine guidance. Yeah, all right. So we have the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy. The Hierophant represents the things that we've conformed to. Now, it does not have to be like religious, but this can be certain ways of life or doing things, our beliefs, even spiritually. The search for the meaning in life, consider an alternative approach, and that can represent shifting your perception. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends, because this can represent somebody who has a lot of wisdom and guidance. All right, somebody who's very spiritually evolves this can also represent a relationship of some sorts all right so let's pull two more it is a five so it can represent the challenges that come along with this but it is a lot about growth fives represent that growth all right so we have king of cups yes it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once follow your creative passion so following your heart now, the King of Cups is somebody who's warm, generous, honorable, refined, loving, caring, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But regardless of those signs, it can be somebody who may hold their cards close to their chest emotionally or somebody who has a lot of deep feelings and emotions, but maybe they're not quite expressed. So, all right, let's pull another one, one more. Wow, Ten of Pentacles. So much to be grateful for, financial success, the promise of retirement, or a rich and rewarding family life. Now, this can be surrounding somebody who um, may play a larger role in your life that will help you. Um, it can be relationship, but it can also be somebody who really just helps you to grow and prosper. So we have that 10 of pentacles, this king of cups. For some of you, this is going to be relationship-wise. Now, with tens come new cycles, new beginnings. Um, it can represent even things that are changing, evolving, and things that are coming to a head, so to speak. So for some, yeah, it can be like graduations and things like that. But for others, it can represent literally like the end of a cycle. But definitely seeing a lot of success here so all right i'm gonna pull one from the teen angel oracle what else do we have here 
things may not be exactly how you thought they would be. There could be somebody here who has a different way of doing things and you may need to be a little bit flexible or trusting. But just know that success, whether it comes through family life, work, career, something that you're building, health, is going to be yours. We have take a break in this let go energy. Look at this. So let go, take a break, allow the universe to work things out the way that they need to be worked out. That's what I'm getting. Some of you may want to control the how, when, where, why. So this is really saying take a break. Trust and just take a break and let the chips fall where they may at this moment in time. All right, so Wisdom of the Oracle. What other guidance do we have for Libra? Okay, actually we have a couple here. We have Poised and we have Milk and Honey. All right, talking about success, look at this, Milk and Honey. This represents the success. Sweet, sweet surrender and sweet success. Lots of abundance with Milk and Honey. So whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish here, just know that success is yours. Abundant rewards. And we have poise, which is about being ready. So any challenges, like that divine guidance energy that you've gone through, this is preparing you for a healthier, happier life and more abundance coming your way. So I'm getting the sense for some of you that this may happen differently than how you expected. So shifting your perception is going to be huge and trusting that the universe has your back. Things are going to work out exactly as they need to, but you may be overthinking or trying too hard and that can be like going against the current, tiring yourself out. Um, I feel like there's this person for some of you that is really going to help you with this, but they may be different than what you would expect or handle things differently than you. Let's close this reading up with three cards from this Oracle deck. What does Libra need to be aware of? What is the guidance? All right, so interesting. We have several cards here. We have admirer, we have reunion, and we have friend. All right, interesting. So there can be a friend. Now, this is depicting somebody who is not even interested in this person. This could be somebody who's in a friend group. All right, so for some of you, this may be a friend who is this person who is the wise teacher, right? Wise teachers are friends. So somebody who has a lot of wisdom, somebody who can help you shift your perception. Then we have reunion and we have admirer. So somebody may be admiring you from afar, but they're not putting themselves out there. They're hiding it, right? And we have this beautiful reunion energy. So if you've been separated or apart from somebody, for some of you, yeah, this could be, totally friendship wise. For others of you, this is absolutely a love situation. Um, you might be coming together when the timing is right, but having to let go and building on this 10 of pentacles, successful family life, successful future together. But I feel like right now shifting your perception because poise, it's readying yourself. It's getting to that state of readiness, but I feel like things are kind of being worked out behind the scenes right now, Libra. So I'm loving this energy. Very, very nice. Um, I just think letting go and letting things flow is going to be key here. I hope you guys have an amazing month ahead. If you're interested in any of my services or you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all that information is posted in the description box below. Take care.